We have been so anxious to get him to find uh, some work and it wasn't easy. Pillar was started in 2014 as a social enterprise focusing on leather crafting by the special needs youths. We work with about 10 special needs youths with various disabilities, those with autism, mild intellectual disability, cerebral palsy, to come together as a team to produce leather gifts for retail and corporate gifting. I was actually working as an architect for about 17 years. I encountered this group of about 20 students. They were actually graduating from the school with limited opportunities for work and training. So I was thinking of how I can use my design skills to help them to find opportunities for work. Faris is uh, 32 years old and uh, he has uh, ASD. He joined PILA early last year because we have been so anxious to get him to find some work and it wasn't easy because there's not much uh, employment opportunities in Singapore for people with special needs. So thankfully we found uh, PILA. Me and our trainers here, we are not special needs trained. We actually learn as we interact with them. One of the key challenges that we face is like dealing with meltdowns. The triggers for the meltdown could be very different from one person to the other. But as they were working on the leather crafting, we soon realised that the leather crafting process keeps them engaged. And once they are meaningfully engaged, the behaviour challenges soon disappear. He enjoyed uh, doing the sewing and the completion of the task that the trainer has given him. The completion task made him happy and very satisfied. He really looked forward to go to events and workshops because uh, he likes interaction with the people. This corporate team bonding workshop is actually a platform whereby we share the whole message of social inclusion. At first, many of the members, when they sit with our artisan, they may be a bit reserved. They are not sure how to interact with someone with special needs. But through the process of our artisan teaching them leather crafting, you can see the reservations melt away and they can actually learn to interact with them. We are all friends. For example, when I'm on leave or on MC and then Ethan, one of our artisans will say, Miss Yo, you know, just simple things like, he, he misses me, he really warms my heart to know. When he first showed me his few pieces, I was really overjoyed and I keep taking photos and send to all the family members and friends, you know. The Singapore Post, as part of their community housing program, has housed us in their facility rent-free for the last three years and also actually provided the funds for the renovation. We are actually very thankful for that. This helps us to elevate some of our overheads and we can actually focus on training and producing uh, our gifts. So this has also allowed uh, employment for more of the special needs artisans and they have also worked with us in some of the corporate gifting needs that they have. For example, the 50-year anniversary, they commissioned us to produce individually marbled gifts for their staff. We are thankful for that and we hope to partner more corporate partners to provide opportunities and platform for these artisans to shine.